here we go. Tits. Hi everyone, welcome back to another Sugar Tits video. Disney, Disney, Disney. Ugh. <laughs> They've done it again. It seems that the ever-expanding woke-verse that is the House of Disney have added another oppressed minority to their collective. And with Star Wars already suffering from the backlash of the crap storm of a show that was Acolyte, you'd think they'd want to explore a different avenue instead of shoving woke garbage down our throats. Like maybe that's not working and that this rubbish is just pissing off the faithful Star Wars fans. But no! And this time they won't be putting a chick in it and making it lame and gay. Put another gay diverse woman in it, make it more fucking lame! They'll be putting a man in it and making it lame and trans? And make it fucking gay as fuck. <laughs> what the fuck? Star Wars unveils first look of its first trans woman stormtrooper called Sister with armor in the color of the transgender flag. And here you can see the artwork of the uh, latest T Stormtrooper. Bruh, look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. F <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Expressing and celebrating their individuality by painting the pride trans colors on their battle suit. <laughs> It's so stupid. It doesn't make any sense. It's a clone. They're all clones for shit's sake. How does this make any sense? Did this particular stormtrooper go into battle one day and get their balls and cock blown off? And then they just decided, hmm, well, I don't have a meat and two veg anymore. Might as well become trans. Might as well explore the uh, woman route route. <laughs> it's just bloody retarded. Star Wars has introduced its first transgender stormtrooper in a move that has left fans of the beloved sci-fi franchise divided. They hate it. They fucking hate it. Just look at the comments on Twitter. Oh my God. Brutal. Now it makes sense why the stormtroopers in Star Wars Outlaws are so bad. Make battle droids great again. The penises got smaller with each generation. You'd think that an advanced race of alien cloners could clone a tough space kiwi without adding mental illness. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Sister is actually a brother. <laughs> Their accuracy is so bad they start shooting themselves. <laughs> hey, hey, as an OG woman, I resent that. I'd make a gun stormtrooper. Probably. Named Sister... Oh God. She is clad in armor painted in the blue and pink of the transgender flag and was pictured for the first time in a new book released earlier this week. The dreadlock sporting soldier first appeared in a reference in an earlier 2022 novel, A Queen's Hope, before later being depicted in a piece of fan art. Oh my God, yeah, look, they've actually got dreadlocks. They've grown their hair out to feel more like a whammon. That must be itchy as fuck underneath that stormtrooper helmet, not to mention completely impractical. I mean, how much space is under that helmet anyway. They're all clones. They've designed the one helmet to fit the one head with the same haircut. And that hairstyle isn't exactly military regulation or great for being in the heat of battle. What happens if you get a dreadlock caught on the end of your fucking gun or something. You'd be dead in five seconds. Now her story and picture has been featured in Star Wars The Secrets of the Clone Troopers, which added her to the franchise's official lore. But the new character's addition has left fans of the galaxy far, far away saga split, with some branding it utterly insane gender cult worship and moronic, while others raged it was a batshit crazy piss take. <laughs> What well, kind of is, isn't it? I mean, if you're going to make any character in the whole fucking galaxy of Star Wars a trans, why would it be a stormtrooper? Why would it be a clone? What are they evolving now or mutating to like dresses and fishnet stockings and tucking their balls and cock up into their ass crack? What's that called? Crack to sack? Sack to crack? Tucking. That's it. This is nuts. <laughs> Pardon the pun. Others appeared critical of Disney, owners of the franchise, for allowing the character to become canon, branding Star Wars woke garbage. Oh, this is no secret. Come on, we've known Disney's been going down the woke garbage path for a long time now. I mean, have you seen this recent music video they released for Pocahontas? <laughs>
God knows when they're going to be releasing the live-action Pocahontas and what they're going to do with that. They're probably going to make John Smith into a villain or he just won't be white anymore. They'll just change history and somehow spin that into the storyline. No, the whites never came to America. Oh, no, wait, they oppressed the Indians, didn't they? They were bad guys. Okay, they'll, they'll leave it white. Goddamn white bastards. But Pocahontas won't have a bar rim. She won't want any of the John Smith cock. She'll just avoid the John Smith cock like the plague. Which is probably good because those whites were just rampant with syphilis back then, weren't they? Gaming news YouTuber The Archcast was among those ridiculing the movie, saying in a video, finally, at long last, the thing that all Star Wars fans have been begging for, clamouring for, for years and years have come true. What's that? Good storytelling? A focus on Thrawn, maybe, or the Force, Jedi, the Emperor, or any of that stuff? Oh, no, no, no. You silly, evil bigots, you. I'm talking about the first transgender stormtrooper. Who's <laughs> the gay trooper? Hey! Who's the gay trooper? Who's <laughs> the gay trooper? I don't know. It's the stormtrooper. Yeah, nobody knows the gay trooper. <laughs> Criticising the move, he added, there was no pushback whatsoever from Disney. Nothing. Nothing at all. Again, stunning and brave. The most oppressed minority truly is the one that gets its way every single time if asks for anything at all. It's kind of true, isn't it? They look for the most oppressed minority that they can find and they just want to give them a platform. They love that shit. They're down with that shit. They keep pushing that shit. And nobody wants it. Nobody buys it. You had to cancel your last season. Series. When are they going to learn from this? Another person on social media added, Wow, my friends and I were just talking about what could save this franchise, and this wasn't it. No, probably not. Fister, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Sister was first introduced in the 2022 book A Queen's Hope, having been created on the planet Camino to fight for the Galactic Republic. She is one of the many clone troopers which featured in Star Wars Episodes 2 and 3, which depicted the evil transformation of Anakin Skywalker from Jedi hero to iconic space villain Darth Vader. Little is known about the character aside from she served alongside Skywalker, played by Hayden Christensen, and his mentor Obi-Wan Kenobi, played by Ewan McGregor during the Clone Wars. See, I don't understand how they think this is going to be beneficial to the trans community whatsoever. You're just pissing people off. Where people may not have been pissed off about trans people before, now a shitload of them are going to be because you're injecting this woke crap into their favourite thing, their favourite franchise. And who exactly asked for this? Did the whole trans community in general ask for this, for this representation of being a fucking stormtrooper? A clone stormtrooper? Maybe Disney need to stop for a second and consider what they're doing is actually detrimental to the image of the trans community. That maybe indeed they're just pissing off a shitload of people and that they're not having this desired effect of people who never even considered the trans community now coming to this realization that they should be woke warriors and totally big up the trans movement. Have a think about that one. Now, of course, not everyone was bagging on this whole trans character injection into the Star Wars universe. No, no. <laughs> See, a bunch of pronouns in bios types accounts were totally on board with this. Probably worked for Disney. Despite the fury online, others have welcomed the character and defended her being officially cemented in the franchise's expansive lore. Star Wars fans need to learn to not be weirdos. This shit's awesome, one person wrote on X. Another added, despite gender fluidity and sex changes being classic science fiction tropes, people will still find a way to bitch and moan about this. Sister is not the only trans transgender character in Star Wars. Sorette and Twin Tarek are trans non-binary Jedi Knights who previously appeared in The High Republic 2 in 2021. Yeah, and that's probably a good reason why those characters haven't cemented themselves into people's memories. They're probably shit. A post on the Star Wars Instagram for International Transgender Day of Visibility. Jesus, that's a mouthful. In 2021, later confirmed their pronouns and status as trans non-binary. Well, there you have have it folks. Another project released by Disney filled with woke crap just for the sake of being righteous virtue signalers. What will Disney do next? Thanks for watching. Remember to check me out on Rumble, BitChute, Odyssey or Twitter X and I'll catch you in the next one. Tits out everyone. Ah!